my chicken and I podcast and wherever you are in the world I hope you're having a marvelous day and if you're seeing the show for the very first time be sure to subscribe like and share and hit that notification bell so when an episode comes out you'll be the first to know also on your way out do me one favor hit that like button so that we can have more of that Sussex love out into the universe <laughs> I don't know how that sound but I hope it did sound it good but anyways today is the seventh yesterday I was in missing action honey I was in missing action and um, not that I wasn't um, noticing what was going on we saw our girl Megan at another event of Beyonce she is loving Beyonce's store and Beyonce puts on a really good show everybody who's been to her show talks about how great it is I can't wait until she comes to New York because I might just go and see the girl <laughs> okay but um, we saw Megan again with Tyler Perry and everybody knows who Tyler Perry is right Lily's Godfather I'm telling you Tyler Perry, are you hearing me out there? <laughs> this man is awesome. Keep taking care of our Duchess. Keep looking out for her. We love you, Tyler. You're a good man. Okay? Lily's Godfather, let me just remind you all. Okay? <laughs> but I'm telling you, Megan was out there again. She took pictures with... You know, Kelly Rollins, Kelly Rollins, um, you know, Destiny's Child going back in the days, okay? So she took a picture with her. And this is not the first um, time that we've seen Megan taking a picture with Kelly Rollins. Um, we had seen in the past where she took a photo with her. She also took um, photos with, oh my goodness, I can't remember this girl's name. Oh. I know her so well. Oh, her name is going to come back to me. But anyways, she was out there and she was enjoying herself. And, you know, it's nice to see Megan is back to her old, her, you know, her old self. And she's not restrained by, you know, that British monarchy that is really not really... They, they, they talk the talk, but they really don't walk the walk. Okay, so it's one thing to be all pristine and acting like a goody two shoe, but in your heart, it, you know, you, it's not just, it's not there. You don't have the love in your heart. So these people in the royal family, they're all phonies. And anybody who's judging Megan for having a good time and living a life and being independent, I have something to say um, to them. Take out the beam in your eyes before you worry about somebody else. That's all I have to say. Megan is living her best life out in California. She has her independence. She's making her own money. She's doing whatever she has to do for herself. She's enjoying life, which is what you're supposed to do because <laughs> life is short. And before you know it, the years just goes up on you and you look wrong and you say, geez, where these years went and you haven't enjoyed yourself and you've just lived for people. Please, Megan, enjoy yourself. Live your life for you. Don't worry about what anybody has to say because when you worry about people, you tend to live for people and then you have regrets in your life. So live your life for you. And talk about Megan and these moves that she had the first time she went to the concert. I'm telling you, let me see. I don't know if I have it like her, but she was like, she was shaking her tail feathers. She was like, everything that held her back, she was letting that out. And I don't care who you are, whether you're in church and the music, when you hear that music and it moves you, it makes you want to move. And that's just how human beings are. So for Megan to be at Beyonce's concert with all that music, and not move into it, that is, she would not be human, okay? That is what you do when you go to a concert. Anyway, you dance. Somebody invites you out to something, you're not going to sit there and be a party pooper. You're going to dance, you're going to have a good time, and why shouldn't she have a good time, okay? So, 
loving all of it i am here for it i hope you all are also here for it as well megan bring it on we are loving the megan that we're seeing today okay not that stuffy megan that would they were holding back over there in the united kingdom we love this u.s megan we love our u.s royalty okay our Montecito royals they show us how to live a normal life and that's what we like anyways i could just go on and on and on but i'm gonna stop with this part here i want to talk about um you know suits and the breaking record that um it has had for this summer and um megan's co-star he came out um and you know said that if it wasn't for um you know megan suits wouldn't be um as huge as it is today you know that revival um with the millions of watch time on netflix and the different streaming giants out there and the fact that megan's name is associated to it has just you know sell it out there and it's just like doing just great and of course everybody wants to see Megan's acting they've been calling her a Dillis actor for the longest time the girl is not a Dillis actor they got to see it and they are loving it they love it that's the reason why they kept on watching because they could have watched one episode and say okay then I don't want to see more but guess what they didn't watch one they kept on watching and watching and watching. So they are loving what they're seeing. She's not no Dillis actor. She's a great actor. And we will see more of her in the future. Okay. So whatever Megan is planning, I am not guessing it. I'm not going ahead. She is letting out out there for us. And we are loving it. Okay. We are loving it. Whatever she's bringing, bring it on, Megan. Bring it on because I am loving this Megan. Okay, not that I don't love her when she was in the UK. Always going to be loving her. But right now, oh, she's just the gift that keeps on giving, honey. She is just the gift that keeps on giving. And so, yes. And um, today is the seventh. Let's not forget. Let's, let's give Harry some love, too. Harry is going to be at the Well Child Awards. He's going to have a speech there that is later today. I'll bring a report on that tomorrow morning. And, um... Yes, I went back to work yesterday, so I couldn't, um, you know, post anything. I was busy. I also had to go and get my mammogram. And those of you out there who has to get your mammogram, go ahead and get your mammogram. Don't put it off. So what I did yesterday, I went to work yesterday. Very busy. After that, I went to get my mammogram. But let me just go back to Harry for a minute. So he's going to be at the Wells Child, not Wells Child, Well Child Award. And he's going to be giving a speech. So we're looking forward to that. We're going to bring back, I'm going to bring to you in the morning. All what happened, I'm going to be doing my regular podcast in the morning, bringing to you all what happened throughout the day with the Sussexes and so on. So definitely excited about all the events that is coming up with the Sussexes. Harry has a lot on his plate. We saw him the other day, um, you know, cheering on the um, Los Angeles um, soccer team. And um, they were playing against Inter Miami. That is um, Lionel Messi's um, team. You know, any team that has Lionel Messi in it, that's why everybody is living wherever they are, in whatever neck of the woods they are, they're coming to see Lionel Messi because he's a tremendous player. So, unfortunately, Los Angeles did not win. Um, that soccer club did not win, but um, because they had Lionel Messi, and Lionel Messi gave into Miami the victory against the Los Angeles soccer club. But... Um, it was just nice to see Harry out there cheering on the videos, you know, his little self and stuff like that. And people were very excited um, to see him and so on. And, you know, it's just very nice that, you know, they're going about their business. They're living their life. They're not living it for people. And that's nice to see. So um, come September 9th through the 16th, we're going to have um, Harry in. Uh, oh, I used to say Dusseldorf. It's not Dusseldorf. It's Dusseldorf. It's Dusseldorf, Germany. So we can see Harry out in Germany from from the 9th to the 16th at the Invictus game. Game. So looking forward to that. And then Megan is going to join him sometime in between. And um, Harry's birthday is on the 15th. We're going to show Harry some love. Okay. And how we're going to do it? I'm going to do 
a call-in birthday. So we're gonna um, I'm gonna give you guys the number. We would, uh, I think I did the same thing for Megan. We're gonna do the same thing for Harry. And I'm hoping one day that they will see one of the videos that we've created for their birthdays and what have you. So um, I'm gonna put um, you know give you guys the number so you can call in. And when you call in you will wish happy um harry happy birthday and then i will take that recording and i will put it in a video and then we'll put it out there so that is going to be harry's birthday which is on the 15th okay so i'm going to have to do it before that i'm going to work it out and stuff like that i i had the phone i had it um i had a service plan for it but i took it off once i wasn't using it so i have to reinstate it again but that's going to be done it's very easy one two three it's just one telephone call um so anyways um i'm going off to work but that's my second day back the kids are not in they're gonna be in tomorrow honey <laughs> they're gonna be in tomorrow it's gonna be excitement it's gonna be fear it's gonna be everything for me you know because i don't know what i'm going um to but i'm excited about this new school year you know i got my class ready and stuff like that my lessons ready so i'm ready to go but anyways to you um guys take care enjoy your day um you know make sure to hit the like um, button on your way out i was talking a whole lot fast i would say but it's because i have to go okay take care love bye